वेलकम टू वंडरस्लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम चैनल गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू अपडेट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज क्विज इज व्हाई डू वी फॉल इल क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 अंडरस्कोर इज कॉज्ड बाय एन ऑफलीज मॉस्किटो ऑप्शन ए मलेरिया ऑप्शन बी डेंगे ऑप्शन सी कॉलेरा ऑप्शन डी टाइफॉइड The correct answer is option C cholera malaria is a mosquito borne disease caused by a plasmodium parasite question number 2 which of the following is not transferred by house flies option A typhoid option B cholera option C dysentery option D aids The correct answer is option D AIDS AIDS is viral disease question number 3 Mosquito is a vector for disease option A malaria option B typhoid option C dengue option D all of the above The correct answer is option D all of the above mosquito carries pathogens of these all disease question number 4 which of the following is a protozoan infection option a ringworm option b measles option c kala azar option d tetanus the correct answer is option d tetanus Kala azar caused by protozoa Leishmania question number 5 which of the following is a chronic disease option a cold option b diabetes option c influenza option d typhoid the correct answer is option b diabetes the diseases which last for a long time even as much as a lifetime are called chronic diseases question number 6 which of these is an airborne disease option a diphtheria option b jaundice option c syphilis option d cancer the correct answer is option b jaundice jaundice is caused by contaminated water or polluted water question number 7 viruses which cause bird flu is transmitted by option a air option b water option c birds option d sexual contact the correct answer is option c birds bird flu is transmitted by birds question number 8 droplet method of transmission of disease is found in option a common cold option b syphilis option c diabetes option d typhoid the correct answer is option a common cold many diseases can be spread via respiratory droplets that are propelled into the air by sneezing and coughing the aerosols generated by coughing and sneezing contain droplets of moisture of varying size that are contaminated with infectious agents question number 9 microbes that enter the body through nose most likely affects option a liver option b heart option c lungs option d stomach the correct answer is option c lungs microbes that enter the body through nose most likely affects lungs because they directly enters to lungs first question number 10 which of the following statement is not correct for a chronic case option a it is a long lasting disease option b 
it lasts for a short period. Option C. It does not damage any organ. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is Option B. It lasts for a short period. The diseases which last for a long time, even as much as a lifetime, are called chronic diseases. Question number 11. Congenital diseases. Option A. Deficiency disease. Option B. Present from the time of birth. Option C. Spread from man to man. Option D. That occurs during lifetime. The correct answer is Option B. Present from the time of birth, a congenital disease also called birth defects and congenital disability is a condition which is existed at or before the birth irrespective of cause. Question number 12. Which of the following is a mismatch? Option A. Leprosy bacterial infection. Option B. AIDS bacterial infection. Option C. Malaria protozoan infection. Option D. Common cold viral infection. The correct answer is. Option B. AIDS bacterial infection. AIDS is caused by a retrovirus called HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. Question number 13. Fever, slow pulse, abdominal tenderness and rose-colored rash indicate the disease. Option A. Measles. Option B. Typhoid. Option C. Chickenpox. Option D. Tuberculosis. The correct answer is. Option B. Typhoid, fever, delirium, slow pulse, abdominal tenderness and rose-colored rash indicate the disease typhoid. Question number 14. If you live in an overcrowded and poorly ventilated house, it is possible that you may suffer from Option A. Waterborne disease Option B. Airborne disease Option C. Congenital disease Option D. Sexually transmitted disease The correct answer is Option B. Airborne disease if you live in an overcrowded and poorly ventilated house, it is possible that you may suffer from airborne disease. Question number 15. Which one of the following is not important for individual health? Option A. Living in a clean place. Option B. Good economic condition. Option C. Social equality and. Option D. Harmony living in large, well-furnished house. The correct answer is Option D. Harmony living in large, well-furnished house. Harmony living in large, well-furnished house is not important for individual health. Question number 16. Children are vaccinated against polio because Option A. Vaccination kills polio-causing microbes. Option B. Prevents the entry of polio-causing organisms. Option C. It creates immunity against the virus. Option D. All the above. The correct answer is. Option A. Vaccination kills polio-causing microbes. Polio vaccines are vaccines used to prevent poliomyelitis. Polio means kills polio-causing microbes. Question number 17. What is common between malaria and dengue? They spread by Option A. Droplets Option B. Housefly Option C. Mosquito Option D. Sexual contact The correct answer is Option A. Droplets Droplets is common between malaria and dengue. Question number 18. Liver is damaged by the underscore I underscore in the disease underscore to underscore. Option A. I bacteria. 
2 pneumonia option b i bacteria 2 jaundice option c i virus 2 pneumonia option d i virus 2 jaundice the correct answer is option b i bacteria 2 jaundice jaundice is water borne bacterial disease which is responsible for liver damage question number 19 microbes are immediate cause of underscore disease option a infectious option b non-infectious option c acute option d chronic The correct answer is Option B. Non-infectious microbes are disease which does not spread by contact between infected and healthy person through air and water, is called non-infectious disease. Question number 20. The presence of which microorganism in Ganga water indicates contamination? Option A. Lactobacillus bacteria. Option B. Amoeba. Option C. Coliform bacteria. Option D. Mucor's pause. The correct answer is Option C. Coliform bacteria. Coliform bacteria drains oxygen in very high amount results death of some important bacteria which helps in decomposition of waste materials. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.